Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy DJ Sweet Lou in the building, and we back with another banger. Now, before I go straight into the game, whoever recorded D'Angelo Russell shooting after the game, please don't post that shit anymore. I don't give a fuck if I see D'Lo hitting shots after the game. I don't give a fuck, all right? Hit the shit during the game, D-Lo. I don't want to see you knocking down all these threes after the game. I don't care if there's a 12-foot ladder in your way and you're shooting over the ladder. I don't care. Shoot it over. All I need you to do is shoot it over 6'5", six, 6'4", six, Jamal Murray. That's all I need you to do. Just hit the shots over over that guy, over 6'5", over KCP. You don't need to be hitting shots over a 12-foot ladder. Just hit, it, hit shots over them. That's it. All right? Now, everyone wants to say, oh, the Lakers defense is not looking too good. Denver offense might just be too good. Jokic looking pretty much unboxable, unguardable. The Nug Although the Nuggets did put up 132 points on the Lakers, that is true. We got to understand the fact that, listen, the Nuggets were just making all their shots. I mean, just, just really just bullshit shots they was making a lot of tough shots you're not gonna expect the nuggets to shoot this well again i'm sorry i'm just not you could call it whatever you want you could call it being in denver uh I, I don't i didn't see that affecting the lakers okay the lakers still put up a buck 26 ad still dropped 40 on you there there's no answer for ad now the Lakers might have found something, all right? This Rui Hachimura lineup, uh, putting them on Jokic and letting AD kind of be the help defender, is very, show that it really bothered Jokic and really bothered their offense, slowed down their offense. Now, I did like Darvin Ham uh, in the beginning going with the small lineup that he used against the Warriors. I didn't like putting Schroeder and D'Lo on the, at the same time, just because of the Nuggets' size, all right, they got KCP, Jamal Murray, two guys over 6'5", and then you got 6'10", uh, Michael Porter Jr., that 6'4", Austin Reeves has to guard, and that's not good. That's a recipe for disaster. So I like the Rui lineup. You got Rui at the center, essentially. AD at the four. LeBron could stick with uh, MPJ at the three. And then you got, obviously, Reeves. And alternate a, a D'Lo or a Schroeder. And you got yourself a recipe for success to carry over for the next game in game two. Now, the Lakers usually like to go in on game one. That's been their strategy the entire time. How does AD respond from this 40-point performance? Does he give us another 40-point performance? Or does he give us another 15-point performance? This is the question that begs to answer because we just don't know. They it looked like they went all in on game one. The comeback just fell a little bit short. Brian, stop shooting them damn threes, man. Seriously. It's a reason why I took your bet off that uh fan duel. And luckily I did, because if I kept it on there, I would have lost that bet. Now I won the bet. I'm gonna put my bet right there. I won that joint. Shout out me. But look, okay. Jokic looks absolutely unboxable, but with Rui at the center, you could have you're essentially doubling him with speed, length, and and, and quickness with AD. Now, and and that's that's a much better option than just having him straight up because even if even if AD does defend well, Jokic is right there grabbing the board, man. I mean, it's sad to see AD getting. Beautiful contest on shots. And then they're just, they're just not grabbing boards. They can't grab the board. So AD has to be there on the box out of the help as a help defender, which make which made the uh, game plan much more efficient for the Lakers. I mean, yeah, yeah. Nobody's nobody has an answer for LeBron when he goes downhill. Like we see that. He I, he shot 11 free throws, which is the most by far I've seen LeBron shoot in a minute. AD obviously shot his normal 11 free throws. This is good. This is what we want to see, right? We want to see LeBron and AD attack that hoop, all right, and really put pressure on them. Now, 
Now, do I expect the Nuggets to hit 15 threes again? They can. They can. But am I expecting it? No. The Lakers' defense honestly wasn't that bad. Like that. Aside from the first half where Darvin Ham, you know, put that lineup out there, and it got really bad. It got really bad for them. Uh, they were down early. You know, down damn near dub at halftime. It was it was bad. So the adjustment with Rui at the second half definitely opened the door for the Lakers. Almost almost stole that game, really. Um, but they have they have another chance in game two. Now my takeaways for this matchup with Jokic and AD, um, I gotta see what I gotta see what I'm getting from AD in game two because one thing for sure, two things for certain about Jokic. He's way too consistent, man. He's not going to have a terrible game. Like, he, you're just not going to see him have a terrible game. He had 34, 21, and 14. All right? He's not going to have a terrible game. Like, even if he has 24, 11, and 10, that's still not a terrible game in my mind. Like, I've, honestly, it's not this effective. Game one effective, but... Are we going to see an AD type of drop-off from Jokic? I can't see that happening. Maybe with this lineup, maybe, who knows? You know, it's really interesting to see. But all in all, I do got the Lakers in six. All right, they still have a chance to steal a road game, which has been their MO throughout the entire postseason as a seventh seed. Just still, just still one home game. All right, you take home field advantage. All right, they're tough to beat in LA. Obviously, Denver is tough to beat in Denver. Both teams are seven and zero. Uh, when you when you account for the play in for the Lakers, both teams are seven and zero at home this postseason. So <clears throat> it, it it come down to who's gonna crack that code. Who's gonna who's gonna crack that code on the road? I think Lakers do it in Game Two, and I don't think the Nuggets can beat LA in LA. So we're gonna see. But Jokic, man, he looking unboxable. He looking like the real MVP. AD, uh, he coming for you though. AD coming for you. That's going to be it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop that like, comment, and subscribe to the channel.